in this lesson we are going to look at another type of full wave rectifier which is known as a center tapped full wave rectifier okay so earlier we looked at a bridge type full wave rectifier which is superior to your center tapped full wave rectifier however if you want to save on number of diodes then you would probably go for a center tapped full wave rectifier okay your bridge type has how many diodes your bridge type requires four diodes okay and at any given time two of them are forward biased therefore the output that you were getting was getting reduced by voltage drop across two diodes okay so your output was getting reduced by 2 vb okay over here in a center tapped full wave rectifier we only use two diodes okay at any given time only one of the diode is in forward bias condition therefore over here your output is basically getting reduced only by one voltage drop across your diode okay that is your vb which is your barrier potential okay so if you look at from diode's perspective your center tapped full wave rectifier which utilizes only two diodes is going to be relatively cheaper than a bridge type full wave rectifier that requires four diodes however your center tapped full wave rectifier requires a center tapped transformer okay so if you add the cost of the transformer it's basically going to be expensive as compared to your bridge type full wave rectifier okay so if you are already using a center tapped transformer in your circuit then it is relatively cheaper okay so what is a center tapped transformer your center tapped transformer basically has your secondary which is split up into two parts okay so your half of the voltage is available across one part and another half is available across another part okay so in a center tapped transformer what you could do is you could drive two independent circuits okay if your secondary voltage is 240 volts you are going to get 120 volts across two parts of your secondary and using 120 volts you are going to have two circuits that you can drive okay you can have your circuit 1 over here that takes in 120 volts you can have circuit 2 over here that takes in 120 volts okay so your center tap transformer is basically providing you two voltages 120 each okay your regular transformer is providing you a single voltage of 240 volts okay so if you look at a transformer a regular transformer it basically looks like this right that's your primary that's your secondary and you have your core in between you can just have your dots to indicate the notation okay so a center tapped transformer basically has a tap at the center which is connected to the ground okay so now your entire secondary voltage is available half across these two points and half across these two points okay so if your polarity is plus minus like this then across these two points you have plus minus polarity like this and across these two points you have plus minus polarity like this okay you have 120 volts over here you have 120 volts over here and you have 240 volts across this secondary over the entire secondary okay so let's look at how a center tapped full wave rectifier looks like okay so what you have over here is a center tapped full wave rectifier you have a center tapped transformer available over here you have two diodes diode 1 and diode 2 and this is your load resistor okay your output voltage is available over here that's your v out okay now at any given time only one of the diode is going to be in forward bias condition and let's now see how that is possible okay so let's assume i am looking at positive half cycle okay during positive half cycle i have polarity across my